This is the tutorial for the customer inquiry of eRegister 400. You'll see it listed on the sales menu here as option 4. You can also access it from a number of other places throughout the system that prompt for a customer number. Uh, the search screen shows a customer account that you can type in if you know it, a uh, customer card number if you issue uh, frequent shopper or preferred customer cards you can tab there and scan their card or swipe their card but by default it positions the cursor at telephone search and that default can be changed I'm going to enter in uh, just a portion of the number you can enter just the last four or the last seven or the full number uh, here it's pulling up three different people um, you'll see the number I typed in 434-7766 uh, and the other numbers are different however you'll notice if I choose option number three in field plus you'll see I have that 434-7766 as my work number so it's not my primary number but it still found me uh, using that search field so I'm going to press F3 to show you more about how to search you can tab down to the name search or the note search and type in a string of characters and it'll look to see uh, what people might meet that. So John is a pretty generic one, so there's a ton of uh, results here. And you can page up or page down using F12 or F24 or the page up and page down buttons. Uh, I'm going to hit F3 and narrow my search. Okay, and I found two John Does. So the number one is the one I'm looking for, so I can type in one in field plus and let's take a look at this screen and give you a brief explanation of what we're looking at here location is the store location the customer was created at the mailing is uh, the mailing code this customer is assigned to you can group customers by any alphanumeric code so you can send mailings just to one specific code if you wanted uh, and here's their address information email date of birth year is not required uh, but again like you could do mailings uh, to people on their birthdays. Uh, people have birthdays on a certain month or so on. Um, tax code is the tax code this customer will be taxed at if they uh, do a shipping order. And we have a bunch of functions on the bottom. I'm going to go through them really quickly here. Uh, F1 is to change something. You'll see everything gets underlined. And now I can tab around and change. Uh, you know, maybe his e email address changed press enter and now it's updated. Um, you can press F4 to print a layaway statement. It'll default to your regular printer. I'm going to print it to screen by hitting F9 and press enter. And this will show any uh, open uh, layaways for this customer with charges and payments against it and a balance. I'll press F3. I could do a statement which is an AR statement for this customer. Again, I'm going to press F9 to print it to screen. You can change this date range if necessary. Usually you'd print it with an ending date at the end of a month. And here you'll see the uh, a charge that this customer had and payments against that charge. And this can be printed also on the AR uh, menu as well. Uh, you can press F6, which will show us an on-screen history of all the purchases this customer has made. At the top right will show the mode that we're looking at. Right now it's all orders. We can toggle between that, accounts receivable, open layaways, closed layaways, and back to all orders. And you'll notice this order here doesn't have a completed date. That's because that was the open layaway. If an order is still open, it doesn't have a completed date. You can uh, press F3 and return. F8 shows us a summary of this customer's purchases uh, all time last year, this year, and this month. F3. F9 is a printable history for this customer that I can do by date range. So I can say, give me everything from January 1st of this year to today's date. And I can press F9 and then enter. And then these are the purchases for this year. And that way you can, if a customer requests uh, or someone in management needs to see what this customer has purchased and needs a printed copy, they can do that. I can press F3. And we can go into AR. This is where you'll make payments against their house account. If you accept purchases on house account, I get prompted for my employee number, so I'll type that in and hit field plus. And here you'll see the current balance for this customer. I can make a payment by hitting F1. 
these are my available payment types. I'll take a uh, check payment by typing 2 and field plus. If I want to leave the date as today, I can just press the tab key and tab over it. And I'll take a $5 payment by entering 500 and field plus. And if I need to post this against a specific receipt, I can, or I can just leave that blank and it'll post to the balance. And my check number is 123. And I'll press enter. And now it posted payment check 123. Uh, it shows me payment entry was successful. And I can also change an entry if I need to. Uh, maybe that cash payment was incorrect, so I can type in number 3, because that's the cash payment up here, followed by field plus, and it pulls up that entry. And now I can tab over and change and tell the system they only gave me $10, 1000, followed by field plus, and then enter, and now it changed my payment to $10. And then I can hit F3 and return. And the last thing here is the F16 contacts, which is an extension of the... Uh, contact information already on the main verification page. Uh, most people don't need to go this deep, but if you need to, uh, we have different uh, codes that you can enter. So you can say an additional email address or a fax machine. And this is just a free form text that you can type something in. And that's, that's pretty much it. I can press F3 and return. And F3 will back me out. And finally, to add a new customer, I can press F1 and fill in the information that's necessary. It's either customer name or company name. So let's say it's ABC Corp. And none of this information is required by default, but we can make it so if necessary. Um, I'm just going to press Enter to update. And now there's a new customer, ABC Corp. Press Enter, and that returns me back to the sales menu. And that's the end of the customer inquiry tutorial for eRegister 400.